so this morning we're doing eight laps with Andrew and the DT3 RS. Are you doing multiple cars or just the one? Doing four. You're doing four cars. Yeah. This is your first one today? Yep. Okay, awesome. All right, so. It's all right with the. Uh, What's little, that? Low pressure lights on. Cool. Oh, yeah, you're fine. All right. Yeah. The yeah, biggest thing with that is just in the cast and take out the sensors because they go through so many tires. They don't want to. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. sure enough. Cool. All right, so uh, when we do take off, we'll go around the cars. Uh, if you notice the drift car, he gets on the paddock. Uh, so run alongside the cars, like literally right in front of them, so I can watch for him so he doesn't okay. come flying and, and you don't want to be in his way. Yeah, we don't do that. Yeah, then we'll line up to the orange cones before the main straight. I'm going to watch the mirrors for you. Don't worry about them too right. much. Now, once we're on the racetrack, though, keep your eyes up. Don't stare too long at the desert of the car. Uh, the, the thing with this track, it's really flat, so your biggest, your easiest way to kind of reference where you're at, just you got to look at the cones. Okay. Um, Green cones, all you're trying to do is connect the dots. Up orange cones are going to be your brake cones, and I'm always going to remind you. Okay. Now, with the traffic out there, if anyone's going to pass by, I'll make the call. You just maintain your line. If you're on the right, stay right. If you're on the left, stay left. Okay. Are you wanting to use paddle shifters or auto? Paddle. Paddles. Okay. Just take note that the controls are super close to each other to the paddles, the windshield wipers, and the turn signals. Okay. okay. Cool. And I'll let you know when to upshift, when to downshift. Um, be smooth with your controls. So, the thing with the cups that the car is sitting on, they do rely on heat to generate grip. Um, so, just kind of take note that first lap, just kind of just watch watch your throttle application. Okay? Yep. Cool. Good try, though. Yeah, no worries. Shelby at home, so we're those occasionally. Nice, man. All right. All right, so whenever you're ready, we'll bring it down to drive and then manual mode. I'll uh, go ahead and roll forward and then run to the paddock and then run perpendicular with the cars. Yeah, running right in front of it, it's fine. We're gonna watch for the drift car. Okay, we're clear from him. We're going to line up to the orange cones. And then bring it to a stop right behind the Macan. Okay. And then I'll clear onto the track here shortly. Alright, whenever you're ready, go ahead and roll into it. We're gonna go ahead and merge left. set up all, all the way to the right hand, okay? Tight to the right, okay? Bring it back down to the inside. Try not to straddle this, just right okay. the paint. Aim for the green cone, keep going. Just feather off, all the way right. Okay, carry the brakes here to the green cone. Let it coast first. You can straddle this one though. Now it gives some power. Keep going, keep it right. All the way right. Stay to the brakes, wait for the cone. Take this corner up high, you're gonna aim for that green cone. A little bit higher than that. We're too yeah, we're too shallow to the inside. Unwind and squeeze. Yeah, 
It's got to get a feel for the car, too. No, this it's one, fun. Once you get a lot of grip going, this car literally hooks up. You just got to trust it a bit. Okay, look for the green cone. Give me some power coming out. Keep going, keep going. Don't break here. Just go and just lift off the gas. That's all you'll do. Okay. Stay right. We'll break here, though. Break early. Feather off the brakes. Just coast. Straddle this curb and give me some power. Go. Just keep going. You got it. Nice. Stay right. Take this corner a little bit wider. We should have got a little bit of last night. What's that? We should have got a little bit of sleep unless they flew in late. <laughs> Off the brakes. But it was good though I didn't drink. Yeah, no worries, man. You're good. Squeeze the power. Go. Yes, it's fine. It's great. Nice, man. Okay, squeeze the 
fast, go. Keep going, straight to that green cone. Go, go, go. Off the power, light on the brake, stay wide. Off the brake, just look left and turn. Yeah, there we go. Keep going, off the power, there you go. Now give us power. Okay, start scanning through the corner. Give it a little bit of power going in, and a lot more coming out. Power, keep going, keep going, keep going. Just lift, no brake yet, stay right. Now we'll brake here, brake, feather off. We're gonna exit after this. Connect okay. the cones and power, go. Hit of the low cones. Yep. That was quick. And brake. We went around the track decently. Let's go ahead and head straight. That was good though. That was fun. So honestly, the biggest thing is just kind of trusting yourself and trusting the car yeah. a little bit. It's weird, when I did it last time, when I got in the Ferrari, I drove a little more aggressively, a little faster. Right, right, right. Get used to the track. That was fun though. No, that was a great time. So yeah, the biggest thing, in my opinion, is just kind of trust yourself to carry a little bit more speed because your line was, you know, was really, really spot on. The biggest thing too now, the faster you're going, and yeah, you're good. Uh, try to look to the corners a little okay. bit sooner. You know what? I think I should, I should have put yeah. the seat back a little more. I think it's tough to look. I get you. Yeah. Because the thing is, the faster you're going, you want to mentally slow the track down so everything's not coming at you so fast and then you feel like, hey, there's, I, I'm not trusting the car. Oh, All the, yeah, we're going to be in the se uh, center row with the Lambos. Let's take a break for a few minutes. No, you're we'll, good, man. We'll take, the, we'll take the Ferrari out next. <laughs> we're going to be right here, uh, yeah. right next to the GT3 RS as well. Yeah, that was fun. That was a great time. Car's pretty good though, right? It hooks up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to say, I got a GT350 at home. Really? Okay. I got the Ford Performance. Right? Is it the R or just the regular? I get the regular, I get the handling package. Okay. But 